Hi guys, Coach Kane here, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. I'm not sure why I've got these in my hand. Because who doesn't want to have a rugby ball in their hand now if they're a Springbok supporter and scoring tries to draw the game against the All Blacks? Herschel Yanchi's your little biscuit. I mean, where did they get this guy from? He's played 20 games of Super Rugby and now he got a double against the Wallabies. He got one against the All Blacks. Unbelievable. Let's though focus on the Springbok side. What has changed? Why are they doing so much better? Uh, what have they changed and, 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 and what have they added a few strings to their bow? When was the last time you saw a Springbok team, 16-9 down, two minutes to go in New Zealand, a line-out on their 10 and it, they, they actually constructed play. They held the ball, they were patient and they varied their attack. You thought it was just a chip and chase? There's more to this game than you know. Let me show you. Okay, we heard enough of Maddie Pierce. He was very good in calling the game. First of all, got to make got to make mention. A few uh, All Black supporters are going to be a bit apprehensive about that. There's an argument for a, for a skew throw then, but it all levels up. There was a knock on early on. That a penalty was then awarded against the Springboks. So we're going to play on because don't blame the referees. That's the mindset. Anyway, so moving on. The Springboks realised that they needed to get some sort of a forward momentum. Okay, it wasn't coming. The All Blacks were fantastic on defence. Their press, you see all black, all black uh, press, try getting behind them, try to get over their vantage line, things weren't working. I've got to be honest with you, they had three guys over there, we had two, there's no overlap, M maybe a bit of a variation, but this is where the Springboks have changed. And it, it took them a long time for them to play like this, but eventually they stopped doing it. They are a bit more cohesive, a changing tactic, a little scissors here, good clean outs. Uh, the, the thing to note is that there was never a panic at any time. You never once felt like, oh, they're going to mess it up now. Okay, watch there. Right here, it seems like the All Blacks have got things under control. Right here, this is where we need to change things. We can't just keep going one off runners. There needs to be a decoy. There needs to be a, be a bit of magic. Enter the decoy. Decoy, extra man, boom. Mismatch, chip. We all know what happens from here. There's no knock on. There's a regather. And it's... Oompa in New Zealand. This is massive for the Springboks. This is massive for the country. It's massive for our belief. We've got to the World Cup. This, Russ and Russ was, I've got to applaud you, guy, because the, the things that he's changed and there's, there's little, little deviances, we're still playing with our, to our strengths, but we're doing it smartly. Fantastic defense, fantastic at the end clinical player. I thought we, in the first half, we'd win a couple of points. We also missed a crucial penalty. Uh, and we need our penalties more than New Zealand do. They score more tries than us generally. But if this is something to go on, Springboks can maybe go to go and win a World Cup. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about it. Let's see. Who knows? That first game uh, in, in the, the first round is going to be a hell of a contest. And uh, this is Coach Kane, the Rugby Whisperer, helping you to tame the animal that is rugby. Cheers.